Setting up your Wiser Smart Code 10 requires three main steps, factory reset, door handing, and adding user codes. Let's walk through each process step by step. First, we need to perform a factory reset. Open your door and locate the interior assembly of the lock. Remove the battery cover and battery pack from the interior assembly. Press and hold the program button while reinserting the battery pack. Continue holding the program button for 30 seconds until you hear a long beep and see a red light. Then release the button, press it once more briefly, and wait for a beep and green flash. Now we move to the door handing process. This teaches the lock which way your door opens. Remove the battery pack again. Press and hold the lock button on the keypad while reinserting the battery pack. Keep holding until the latch bolt starts moving. The latch bolt will retract and extend automatically to learn your door's orientation. This process ensures proper operation. Finally, let's add a user code. This is how you'll unlock your door going forward. Press the program button on the interior assembly once. Then enter your new four to eight digit user code on the keypad and press the lock button. A long beep and green flash indicate success. Always test your new code by locking the door first, then entering your code to unlock it. Your Wiser Smart Code 10 is now set up and ready to use. Remember to consult your specific model's manual for any variations in the process. Now we'll cover how to delete user codes, manage auto lock settings, and control silent mode on your Wiser Smart Code 10. To delete a user code, start by pressing the program button on the interior assembly once. Next, press the lock button on the keypad, then enter the user code you want to delete. Press the lock button again, re-enter the same code, then press lock once more. A long beep and green flash confirm deletion. Now let's move on to the auto lock feature. This automatically locks your door after a set delay. To enable or disable auto lock, remove the interior cover and locate the numbered switches inside. Use a pin or small tool to move switch number two. Up enables auto lock, down disables it. For silent mode control, which manages keypad sounds, the process is simpler. Press the program button, then press number five on the keypad, followed by the lock button. A long beep confirms the setting change. Finally, remember to maintain your lock by regularly checking and replacing batteries when needed. Low battery warnings appear as visual and audible alerts. For any troubleshooting needs, consult your user manual or visit the WISER website.